There is no mistaking the fact that these images come from the camera of Richard Avedon, one of America's best known photographers. And in an extraordinary exhibit spanning Avedon's entire career, 200 of his portraits of America's power elite are on display in the center of power, the nation's capital. This grouping from 1976 is titled The Family. It's called The Family because it represents a, a group of people who are affiliated by their uh, power, uh, essentially, by their authority in government. I think that he was uh, trying to tell people that when they can see the faces of the powerful, when they can see um, the faces of the people that rule them, that in a sense they gain power um, by understanding how things work in a democracy. Avedon used his lens to chronicle history, the civil rights movement, the Vietnam War era, its horrors and its political and social firestorms. Here, the Chicago 7 anti-war protesters are face to face with the so-called Washington War Establishment. But Avedon never saw himself as taking sides politically. Could we describe Avedon as a political activist? I don't think so. Um, there were times in his life when he was very interested in specific political causes, like the civil rights movement or the anti-war movement during the Vietnam era. But for the most part, he saw himself as an artist, alone. As an artist, Avedon developed a distinctive style. Avedon's style was revolutionary at the time. He would photograph a person simply against a white backdrop and he would include the black edge of the photographic frame. All the people he photographed, whether they're immensely powerful, like uh, uh, Gerald Ford or Richard Nixon's secretary, Rosemary Woods, um, whether they were high up in, gov in government or further down the scale, uh, it rendered them all as equals. Avedon's final photographic essay focused on the party conventions of 2004, the same year he died of a brain hemorrhage. It included rare color pictures, among them this one of current Democratic candidate Barack Obama, who Avedon was convinced would one day run for president. When I look at this project, I think it's very prescient about today's election because they seem in, in many ways to forecast what this election is, uh, is like and how many different people are excited about it. And had Avedon lived, a chance for new portraits of power. Thalia Shuras, CBS News, Washington.